Ahoy there, lads. We got ourselves a sea siren. Cover your ears and take aim. Hold your fire. Aye, Captain. Take a look in the waters. We have ourselves a demon. I said hold your fire. They are hardly of any harm to us. Fetch me my spyglass. Let me take a closer look. Aye, Captain. Hmm. It would appear we have a recurrent visitor. Throw down a rope. Bring her on board. It'd be frightful bad luck to have a siren on board, Captain. We best kill it. That was an order, Quartermaster. Aye, Captain. You there. Grab onto the rope. We will pull you up. Heave. Now grab my hand. Your hand is very slippery. And on you go. Hello again. I must confess, I find myself in a bewilderment. Was I not clear when I advised you to stay well away from any ships? And you can imagine my surprise when I saw you waving at us for our attention. Careful, Captain. Sirens are dangerous creatures. I will be the judge of that. Well, go on, then. What is it you risked your life to tell me? Slow down. Pirates, you say. They have your mother. So you want my help. Well, as you know, we are pirate hunters, in a way. Very well, it appears we have ourselves a deal. You give us the directions, we hunt the pirates. So, which way? Very well. Gentlemen, set the course for northeast. Today we hunt for queen and country. Is everything okay? You were worried about your mother. Of course, I could only imagine the position you are in. But rest assured, I am sure your mother is alive. Pirates will not kill a mermaid. They're not worth as much. Remember, the same happened to you. This time is different. And why is that? The crew are much more skilled and ruthless. Hmm. Well, there are different classes of pirates. Perhaps these are more experienced ones. The ship. What about it? It was scary. How so? It was black and gave off a sense of death. <laughs> well, I'll have you know, pirates are not known for their hygiene. But still, you are adamant. Very well. Then let me share some information with you. While there are different classes of pirates, there are also different classes of soldiers like myself. I do prefer to remain humble, but you may rest easy knowing that I am at the top of my game. I turn down the role of Admiral because I do not care for the control of an entire fleet. No, I prefer the freedom of a singular vessel. I am rogue, 
and due to my skill and effectiveness to the Navy, Her Majesty herself has honoured me in making my own decisions. And aboard we have the most dangerous crew in all the Seven Seas, hand-picked by myself. <laughs> Don't you worry. They are dangerous only to our enemies. They are extremely loyal and all good men. Observe. Adams, throw yourself over the edge. Yeah, yeah yes, Captain. And stop. Thank you, Adams. I just needed to demonstrate to our guest that she has nothing to fear. So how was that? Are you convinced now? Yes, that was rather mean, wasn't it? But I would never allow anything to happen to them. Since our last encounter, I was in deep thought about sirens, about mermaids. Please educate me. What be the difference? You don't know. Hmm. Perhaps sirens are of legends, nothing more than stories. A simple misunderstanding of your kind. You say that it is not too dissimilar to the tales of my kind. Amuse me. I wish to know. So there are stories of humans hunting you for your flesh, and skin you for your scales. Honestly, those are more than stories, I would imagine. That is quite akin to human nature. We do this to land animals, too. See here, on the wheel, this hard, white, and rather beautiful handle. Can you hazard a guess as to where this came from? This is called ivory. It is obtained from the tusks, or teeth, of very large mammals called elephants. Yes, they are very large. Oh no, no, not quite as big as whales. Good point, though. Actually, your nautical knowledge of life is different to mine of land. But anyway, back to the point. This ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, belonged to an infamous pirate lord who called himself Blackbeard. <laughs> no, that is not his real name. It was Edward Teach. Far less intimidating. I learned of it as he begged for his life before my blade. I claimed his ship as a prize. It has forty cannons. I assure you, we outgun any ship on these seas. I can see a little sigh of relief. Yes, I can assure you, those pirates will be no match to us. But back to my point about ivory. People like him would have had countless animals slaughtered for his own luxury. Captain, ship spotted at twelve o'clock. Ah, finally, some action. Let's take a closer look. This is a spyglass, or a telescope. It allows me to see further than the naked eye ever could. And those sails, could it be? The Black Pearl. Gentlemen, take your positions. They're coming straight for us. Oh, shit, you are right. I mistook your judgment for inexperience. I must apologize. 
That there is the Black Pearl. An infamous pack of marauders. Very dangerous. But they are no match for us. They have speed. But we have the firepower. Ready the cannons. Quartermaster. Man the starboard. I will keep a watch from above. I will need you at the scene, relaying my orders. The usual. Aye, Captain. Let's have ourselves some fun. That's the spirit. See, there's nothing to concern yourself over. Now take cover. This will be a little loud. I can see your mother on the deck. I know. I may try to sink the ship. She can swim, after all. Quartermaster, have the crew avoid the deck. Fire. We have a hit. Reload. Look above. They are swinging in from above. I am a darn good shot, am I not? I must say, they are very agile little shits, aren't they? <laughs> we have them spooked. They're trying to get away. They must recognize us in this ship. Quartermaster, have the crew load the chain shots. You know what to do. That ship, the Black Pearl, is the fastest in all the Seven Seas. They can easily escape us. But we won't let them. We have special cannonballs. Essentially two of them attached by a chain, which we use to destroy their masts and sails. Then they are all ours. Like so. See? This is almost over. Don't worry about your mother. She is secure, away from the sails. My crew is very accurate. Lower the plank. We board the Black Pearl. And charge! That was quick. The scum are jumping into the waters. Leave them. Do not approach the mermaid. Come with me. Let's get you onto the pearl. Into my arms once again. Hmm? This may be quite tricky, but I've got you. The state of this ship is appalling. The stench, the dirt, everything. She's just up ahead, this way. <sighs> could this, could this be this face, this hair? from all those years ago. Wake up, madam. Wake up. Easy. Give her a few moments. She's fine, she's just in shock. That's it. Open your eyes. You're safe now. Your daughter's here. What a touching reunion. Captain, I... 
Not now, quartermaster. You are ruining an important moment. Don't thank me. I must ask you something. I need to know. Do you? Do you remember me? I have grown up now. But I was a boy. I was drowning. All those years ago. That was you, wasn't it? You saved me. I finally found you. All this time, I wanted to thank you. Gosh, the resemblance between yourself and your daughter is remarkable. I... I just need to say... Thank you. For what you did that day. I spent many years wondering how I could ever repay you. Well, I saved your daughter, and now you. Funny how fate works out. How do you feel? I am glad. I apologize for the noise. As you can see, things get a bit messy when humans disagree with each other. I recommend you two leave as soon as you are able to. The salt water will help heal your wounds and tend to any infection. <laughs> I mean, look at the state of this ship. Lord knows what you will catch from it. Of course, take your time. Quartermaster, what is it you wanted to say? Aye, Captain. The ship is ours. No, Quartermaster. The ship is yours. Well done. Tie the ship aboard the Anne. We will tow it to land and restore it. Oh, and clean it, of course. One more thing, Captain. The Captain of the Pearl is gone. Nowhere to be seen. So, Captain Sparrow escapes us again. It appears we will remember this to be the day we almost caught Captain Sparrow. Oh, and all the rum is gone too, Captain. <sighs> that slippery bastard. Wait, who is aboard the Anne right now? No one, Captain. Oh, shit. That's him. He's trying to make away with the Anne. Not today. <laughs> that scared him off. He's thrown himself overboard. Phew. That was too close. We got careless. Aye, Captain. And what of Sparrow? Leave him. He'll be fine. He somehow escaped an island he was marooned in. This won't be the last we see of him, I am sure. This is our goodbye, now. I am very joyous that I finally got to repay my debt. Good luck out there. I fare thee well.